what is Sellers Easton Media? What are you guys trying to do? So we're a private storytelling company. We are taking our long-time journalistic skills, whether it's interviewing, narrating, uh, being on stage, filming legacy films and, and videos and so forth. We're taking those skills to private clients. We believe that there are so many great stories out there of impact makers. So people who are, that have great impact and you don't, this, we're in this digital age, you don't need traditional media to tell your story anymore. So we started this company, it's actually two years ago, it's March, so it's two, exactly two years ago. We, we launched with a lovely story in Fortune Magazine that um, touted what we were doing. The, the reason we did it was twofold. One is that we had been around all these great women entrepreneurs for so long through the fortune events. It kind of rubbed off on us. It was like osmosis. It gets in you. Like, we can do that. We can build a company. And and then secondly is that we both, when you kind of drill down at our age, it's like, what do you love to do? I love interviewing. I love telling people stories. I like, I love communicating it. And I'm a pretty good writer, and which translates into when you're a pretty good, you know, a good writer, that also translates into being able to um, create, produce films. So we work with filmmakers to create legacy films on people, on leadership at companies, on people within companies, on um, philanthropies, on we've got one legacy project going with a head of a state, <laughs> country. Um, we've got, uh, you know, also a range of really exciting clients. And I have to say, I, it, I turned 60 this year. I'm having more fun and more impact than I've had in my entire 40-year media career. I'm, I encourage everybody. And I know you're going to ask me this question, so I'm going to jump in, like, the best advice you ever got. So um, one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got from these great women, like Ginny Rometty, the CEO, is get out of your comfort zone. If you are ever in a job where you're comfortable, move on. And I think it was scary for us to leave what we were so what we've been doing for 35 40 years depending on how you count it i was i was editor of the daily cal at berkeley so it you know that goes way back to the late 70s and um we got out of our comfort zone and we are took a big leap and a big kind of a big risk and we're loving it 